Just one minute, please. Hi, YouTube world. How are you all on this beautiful Sunday afternoon? Saturday night for some of you. Sorry, I've just come out of the shower and I'm trying to get my breath back. Well, so we are being nice and quiet. Thought I might take my sugar level to start with. Pretty good if I don't say so myself. I turned it off. Okay. So, I've been contemplating today what I should talk about. And I want to talk about something that's really close to my heart. And that is my husband, my children, my family life, and coping. See, prior to August of 2015, I had a pretty much physical, great physical life. Um, you know, I was able to go to work, come home, explore and enjoy the remaining day or night with my family, my children, my husband and dog even when my daughter lived here and Bambi was with us. And she was because we got her in June of 2015 on this very day. So she's actually three years old today. So suss out my other um, my other vlogs, one of them of which is wishing Bambi a happy birthday. So, yeah. 2015, August, was when all this started. It's when all these back injuries started. And it came about when I helped my mother move because she had an accident. Ended her, it put her in hospital on life support. Not going any further into that information because that is another vlog on its own. So, anyway, where was I? And this is brain fog again. So, um, hang on, just bear with me for a moment. My son's in the room too, but it's okay. He knows I'm vlogging and I'm trying to not film him because they get up my ass about doing things like that. And I end up not being able to put that video on YouTube and there we go. So where was I? Yep, I, rem I helped my mum. I actually physically got in and helped the removal of truck, moved my mother's furniture from Yamba to Grafton to a storage facility because she could no longer live on her own. So that was all done. We did all that. My back injury got worse and worse and worse. So I got home from that little visit and we'd all agreed that mum would stay in Grafton because her family was there as well and it would be a big, big move for her. And besides, she was on renal dialysis so she couldn't actually, she wasn't able to travel this far. So we decided she'd stay. Um, I'm not going to go any further into that either because that's another vlog on its own as well. So we came home knowing that she was fine. She'd had the hip operation. They screwed her hip together again. She was fine. I came home and about a year later, we discovered what the back pain was. And it was actually... Now, I had bulging discs stemming from my upper thoracic right down to my sacral area in my spine. Bulging discs with annular tears, which apparently aren't bad because they can repair themselves, but they never have over the years. They still show on an MRI that they've torn and they're getting worse. But bulging discs, annular tears, and I had impingements to the nerves in both my thoracic areas and right down to my lumbar and right down to my sacral. Now I have been seeing neurosurgeons through the Gold Coast University Hospital and they said no surgery is warranted. So yes, fantastic news. And that's been the case for the last two years. However, the back pain is getting worse. This is what brings me to my next thoughts. You know, it's Bambi's birthday today and I haven't been able to go for a walk with her in the grassy, um, you know, fields of the Gold Coast. 
I haven't been able to take her out for a walk or a drive or anything like that, which I think I would have done if I wasn't so debilitated. Sorry. Another thing about these drugs is not just the brain fog, it's also about the actual tears. You know, you just don't have enough time to think about yourself. Anyway, so I would have taken her for a walk if I was able and, and able to. But instead, I did what I could here to make a birthday, you know, happy. Brings me to my children next. I used to, when my daughter was out of home, we lived on her own, we lived with someone else. I used to travel to see her. Sorry, I used to visit her quite a lot, <laughs> you know. We used to fight as well, so what? Yep, okay, and we used to end up in, in well, I used to end up in tears and out of her front door. So what? I look back at that and I think to myself, that's something I was able to do. I didn't want any of these emotions to fly today. I wanted none of them. I didn't want them to impact what I had to get through today. The message at least I had to get through. Back to my kids. I mean, I never used to do a great deal with them, but the, the idea was there. I was able to think about getting out of the house, for example, taking my son to just moving to put the fan on the room because I'm quite a bit hot now um you know I used to take my son on you know dates like lunch dates or morning teas or you know things like that I don't do that now I can't do that now I'm not physically able to actually get up and into the car I mean just putting a bit of a comma to that situation my daughter for example needs to drive me to the doctor's and I, need, and I get out of the car and I go in. But believe me, doing that, the actual process and doing that sometimes brings me to tears when the doctor comes out because I'm in agonizing pain. You know, I've, I've used the treatment room once and I used the treatment room once to lie down so my doctor could come in there and see me. Because laying down, I don't have a great deal of pain. I do have pain, but not as bad as what I have now, even sitting down. So I'm going to try and get through this vlog as quick as possible. Um, too much of a double chin if I'm lying down and I record. So doing things with my kids, I get infuriated with because I just can't do that anymore. I can't go and have coffee dates with my son or morning tea or afternoon dates with my son. Get out with my son and actually have a face-to-face -face conversation. You know, I feel sorry for my daughter too because as much as I want her to do a lot more, I know she can't because she gets so tired from work. And I'm not being a smart ass by saying that. I mean, she does do a lot for me. My house will never be the same. You know, if I wanted to, I could get up and I could vacuum. Um, I could mop, I could sweep, I could do what I wanted to. That's out of the question now. I can't do any of that for myself. I'm lucky to be able to shower myself. And that whole experience or ordeal, is what I put it, is not only time consuming, but it hurts. So, I mean, I know my family can probably appreciate that their mother, their wife, their grandma um, can't do a lot of what she used to be. And a lot of it isn't just physical, it's also the emotional stuff. You know, my mum died in February while my daughter was away. My last conversation with my mum was it about, I don't know, 10, 30, quarter past 10 at night. No one was there with her. <laughs> no one. <laughs> oh, 
my ultimate plan was to be with her by her side in bed with her as she passed away. Unlike my father who was alone, I never understood death as much then, as much as I do now. And I strongly believe they are both in a better place and I strongly believe everyone who's passed is in a better place. And I do look forward to one day seeing them again, if I get that opportunity. It's so hard, especially on my daughter. She's not the one to actually give you a cuddle or to, you know, to offer a kiss and a hug or, and I, I don't, that's not her fault. That's not her fault at all. That's her bringing up. I obviously didn't hug and kiss her enough because today, but that's not a bad thing. She is a bright, intelligent woman. She's 24 and she's got her head screwed on so much better than what I had at her age. That's for sure. But what pains me is that, I don't know, I just, there's something missing between me and her. And I, I truly believe that I would know or that that wouldn't be missing if I wasn't so debilitated. Debilitated in physical sense and also an emotional sense. I, you know, I am a very emotional person as you've probably gathered during this vlog. And it doesn't take much to get me into that emotional state. My daughter's a bit the opposite. And I just don't know, there's something there and there's something missing. You know, she's been with us now for maybe two Christmases? Maybe, I'm not too sure. My brain fog doesn't allow me to think that far back. Um, and you know what, she's 24 and I know, oh, She's never told me this, but I know, I know she'd want her own space. As a 24 year old, I was a 24 year old once and I, and I know that too. And I don't know, there's just, my heart tells me there's something missing with her. And I wish it wasn't because I do love her very much as I do love my son very much as well. They mean the world to me. Um, and I don't know what I'd do without them, honestly. But, oh, sorry, I'm back. Um, oh God. There is something else that's missing. I just, I, and I don't know what that is. And if I do think about it, I'll let you know. My husband, finally, my husband. You know, I don't think we've ever taken the time to really get to know each other over these 24 years. I don't know what else to say. We are on, we are off, we are on, we are off, we are on, we are off. It doesn't take much for one of us to just walk away and say, well, that's okay, it's giving me the shits. Oh, I won't talk to you for how many days now? And when I feel up to it, I'll maybe come and say sorry. You know, we're both very stubborn people. And I don't know, maybe that's got to do with both of our upbringings. I mean, I'm not, I'm not shy. I don't, I, I accept that my parents fought a hell of a lot. They emotionally abused themselves and their, each other. My mother physically assaulted my father. I have that background. It's instilled into me, but that chain is breaking and Although it, although it sometimes rears its ugly head back here in our household, you know, we try our best to push it away. I know there have been incidents of domestic violence in this house, which drove my daughter away. 
in the first place when she moved out of home, when she first came to live with us after she'd come from um, Grafton or Yamba. She came to live with us and she's been with us now for about five, maybe six years. Not living with us though. So, I don't know. Um, I mean, when I was in the shower this afternoon, I was thinking to myself, you know, I want to get on YouTube and I want to say this and I want to say that. But you know what, 15 minutes has now gone by, almost 16, and... I've sort of forgotten what I had to say, but I know, I know the moral was that my spinal injury impacts on my relationship with my children, my child and my daughter and obviously my husband, but I think he understands to a sense because he's always been the one to sort of be laid back anyway, whereas my side of the family have always sort of, they can't sit still for a minute. But I've even forgot, I don't know. If there's one message I wanna sort of get through is, you know, communication is the biggest thing in any relationship, whether it be through your children, your, your adult, you know, um, your daughter, your son, your husband, even your dog communicate no matter what and love when you can because time is very short very short we aren't on this earth for a long time and I've heard other people say that many and many a times and not really accepted that for what it is I'm gonna end it now because I really don't know what else to say um, beyond what I've already said um, so I love myself, I love my daughter, I love my son and I do love my husband. So don't ever lose that. Um, yeah. Well that's it guys and girls, YouTubers. If I could ask you to do one thing for me, that would be subscribe to my channel. I really want to aim to get 50 subscribers by the end of July I don't know why I picked July but July it is so if you can do one even two things for me just two things subscribe like my channel and if you haven't already it'd be great stuff for you to do it oh what I meant to say is if you have already sorry dung dung then hit the little ding dong bell down below right next to that subscribe button and you'll be told every time I upload my little message will bing bing in your little ding ding that doesn't sound too good does it oh my god goodness me crying and smiling in the one YouTube vlog okay guys you take care love to all see you next time be a fan